All right, uh, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to RimWorld. It's been a while. I don't usually record this game just because, I don't know, it's not exactly uh, a game that I record often, but they just came out with a royalty pack, and I want to dive into it. And we're going to be diving in with uh, my nice robot empire. Ooh, look at this. It's got caves. It's got an interior uh, farming area and some other things. Okay, yeah, normally I just don't play RimWorld because it tends to be a little bit on the long side, but I think I think today is a good ex exception. Ooh. Ooh, problems. Okay, so we got a Mega Spider here already. Yeah, I like the little hole. I don't like the Mega Spider. Well, do we make it work? We got several mega spider hives. Yeah, the spider isn't the big issue. The hive is. Yeah, uh, sort of. The problem is, I've only got one weapon between my three robots. That's a bit of that's a bit of an issue. We've got a well. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna make this work, or I'm not. Worst comes worst, we start over. Um. We're just going to save poppers. This is going to be a royalty-themed run-ish. Not really. Okay, HK-47, you're the only good one with the charge rifle. Let's speed this up. Okay, next up we need a hauling spot. I guess I'm just going to haul in here and we're just going to make it work. Force raiders to come through, come in through the hive. What is this place? Huh. That, okay. I... I like the cut of your your jib. It is horrifying. And that's perfect for me. Okay. So orders, let's start mining some things out. We want to we want to have a big area. This is not going to be particularly huge for farming, but if I can do most of my farming indoors, at least until we figure out how to get uh, indoor planters, that might not be a bad idea. Okay, uh, next up... What is this place? Yeah, because we're going to need better bridges to actually lock some of these things off so people come through. I think we're, I think we're just going to... I think we're just going to have to manually take out both hives. I, we're going to want to arm ourselves better anyway. Usually when I play this, I don't actually arm myself particularly well. And that's an issue. Uh, let's see. Zone, stockpile... Yeah... I'm just going to do that. Let's get our stuff up in here. What is this place? Okay, so next up we want to do structure. Yeah, structure bridge. Okay, orders. Cancel designations. Oh. Oh. Huh. I guess it must have been a mod that was actually having it so it would cut trees. Uh, you know, only fully grown trees. Maybe that's not a thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. What is this place? Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm not digging this music. Let's find something else. I'm listening to Pretzel, if any of you guys have ever heard of it. Uh, I didn't hear about it up until recently. I super dig it. Problem is, uh, can't attribute it for, uh, for YouTube yet. Hopefully we'll get to that point sooner than later. Okay, orders. Yeah, I assume I don't have haul urgently. Oh, this is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Wait. Did they just get rid of hauling? Oh, wait, no, no. There's haul things. Okay. Huh. They changed how that works. Ish. Okay, well, they're going to work on that. They no hull, hull urgently yet. It's a bit of a pain. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh, well, I'll make it work. Okay, so we want to do structure, wall. I don't have a whole lot of wood stored.
I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna lock them in. There's a streamer friendly thing on Pretzel, yeah, and you'll see Pretzel uh, specifically like linking stuff in chat. Uh, mainly the reason why I said that was because uh, this will get posted on YouTube. In um, this will get posted on YouTube in a couple of days. Uh, tomorrow even? I'm not entirely sure. And unfortunately, I can't actually. There's no easy way for me to properly attribute the music with YouTube. They've got a tool that they're working on. Uh, supposedly that actually makes it a lot easier. Uh, so you just, like, post whatever your playlist is. And that's cool, actually. Okay, right. We should probably go back to the, uh, the Rim World... Rim, yeah, the Rim World... I can't say Rim World right now. I don't know why. Alright, whatever. We're gonna actually turn Rim World back on, mainly because there are the new tracks. I'd forgotten about those. Of course, music actually has to play, which... On and... What? 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 Why did it suddenly go into window mode? Dang it, game! Okay, there we go. But yeah, really dig pretzel. They're not quite there for YouTube attributions yet, which makes sense. Uh, it's especially rough from my perspective if I'm like, um... If I'm streaming and then YouTubing stuff, it's just like, well, how do I get this to work? The answer is I can't. Okay, so we want to do farming. Oh, man, this is going to be weird. It moved stuff. Okay, so it's it's zone. Growing zone. So we need space. We need rice. We'll start with rice. Oh, hi. Okay, so this is a little simpler than what I'm used to. But also looks nicer. Okay. Don't know what I'm going to grow in here. Heel root wouldn't be a terrible idea. Or we should probably do cotton. Yeah, we'll have potatoes there. Not the biggest growing area I've ever done, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. And I guess I'm going to go for heel root. Nobody can do it, but we'll get there. Okay, next up, floors. Whoa, hi. Okay. It's a little bit more than I was expecting looking at this. It's non-stop... Oh, I see, because that's just the default. Well, we're going to have to play around with some of this, because... Some of it actually looks kind of good. All right. Let's see. Should be one trees. Unfortunately, I got to research before I can grow trees. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. Dip. I. Because I've been playing with. Full screen and not full screen. Apparently, it's causing issues. Okay, so we can we can just set to vein mine certain things manually. Okay, so next order of business, we want to get into production. Mainly, I think we're going to want a simple research bench quick. I guess I should probably have some kind of interior area. Then again, looks like my guys are bored. Yeah, two guys are bored. Farms are done. I guess architect orders. Let's let's do the usual mining. Oh, I bet a number of my guys specifically don't have orders to mine. Nor can they figure figure it out. Okay, why don't let's let's cancel specifically these three. Eventually I'll have like a wall. And I believe we can actually do soil reclamation. Uh, let's see. So we want to do restrictions, anything. Okay, there we go. They're unrestricted and work. There we go. Uh manual priorities. And all of these guys are really good at it. Pretty much everything. 
I mean, go figure. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give them just kind of universal skills and just let them figure it out accordingly. Obviously, Johnny Five might do a little bit more on the cooking side of things. Uh, so in that case, maybe we should. Oh. We only have four priority levels now. That's a new one. Eh, you know what? To be honest, that's probably okay. I don't know if I'd actually ever use those. Uh, let's keep those at three. Yeah, so these should all be one. At least until we get some more people. Uh, so, Johnny Five is the farmer, so we should probably have him prioritize plant cutting a little bit. And then the other guys can just do their thing. Okay, there we go. Now they'll actually do stuff. Which is mostly going to be mining. And they suck at it, so it's going to take a little while. Because, yeah, unless I'm mistaken, they have no no skill whatsoever in uh, mining. It'll get there. Okay, so, uh, what is RimWorld Royalty? I actually don't really know. I don't really know too much about what I'm going to be dealing with here. I looked at it a little bit, and it looks like there's, like, kings and stuff that you can... Like, you can make your characters royalty, but then they get really pompous and, like, want more, which makes sense. There's quests. There's a couple other things. I'm curious to see how this goes. But yeah, what we're going to want to do is clear some of this out rather quickly. Yeah, just blank shells. Yep. I I prefer starting RimWorld like this a little bit. Uh, where you have, like, each character has, like, maybe one or two skills, but they just have a burning desire to do everything. Uh, I don't really like the learning caps in the same way that uh, Base Room World has, because it makes a lot of characters either pigeonholed or useless. And that's less fun for me, I guess. We got a lot of steel just sitting around. A lot of potential resources. Oh boy. That's going to be fun. We are going to have to fight some things, aren't we? Well, we could set up some embrasures, or we could just go bananas. We're going to need to figure out guns sooner than later. Just set your global learning factor to like a thousand percent in scenario settings. Wait, is that a thing? You can change that? Where? What? I'm assuming it's too late. Yeah, I don't see as a li uh I don't see that listed, but that's actually really cool. Let's see. It's the stat thing in scenario editor. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's technically too late. I mean, dev tools will fix everything. It just takes longer. Uh, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Damn, okay, yeah. Good thing we switched the m music over. This this music is good. Okay, so we want to do harvest? Should probably harvest a couple of those things. It wouldn't hurt too much to start over. True. Oh, you can still do it through uh, dev actions. I see. Now that's the debug log. Tweak values menu. I. Uh, let's see. Instant recruit. 
Always social fight. Always do lovin'. Uh, ooh. I'm assuming fast learning is what I'm looking for. This is cool. No animals, unlimited power, path through walls. Damn. Okay, there we go. Let's see if they get really, really good at... Oh, boy. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, we're turning that back off. Um, all right. Well, that gives me a nice big boost on mining for, like, a smidge. Uh, so now, now we've got two characters that are absolute, uh, dig wizards, and that's really, I think, all I needed. Every, everything else is just kind of like, eh, I'll make it work, but, uh, dig, dig wizardry, that's the important stuff. Jittery Praetor. View quest. Okay, this is gonna be new. Placidia... Planecus, Praetor of the Exodus Empire, is calling from nearby. She's being followed by an angry duck. She said she only wanted to see the landscape on a quick walk, never expected such a deadly threat. Placidia wants you to keep her safe with the colony for a few hours until her shuttle can come pick her up. She promises not to be offended by your body odors or lack of manners. She'll allow eight royal favor uh, bestow eight royal favor on whoever accepts this quest. This is enough favor to receive the royal title of Yeo Yeoman. And all of the benefits that come with it, including a psychic amplifier that gives psychic abilities. Be warned, those with titles tend to become haughty and needy. Okay, so that's that's the quests. I'm gonna save. Do we wanna... do we wanna? What is this? Why do we have all of this stuff? Why is it outdoors? <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Well, do we... do we want to? Exodus Empire sounds kind of fun. That's only it. I'm going to accept the quest and HK 47. Okay. Angry duck. It is a duck. Is a duck man manhunter. Okay, Placidia, you're gonna head back here. We just really have to protect her from this duck, yeah? Well, alright. She's being chased by a duck. Duck is dead. Cool. Uh, let's see. Is that... Yeah, that's good. Placidia, go get in shuttle. Duck. Allow duck. Alright, I think we're good. That was easy. Uh, bye. So we will probably want a guest room at some point for some of this stuff. But that'll be later. Question. Marvin. You didn't shuttle, not allowed. <laughs> I was like, wait, can we just, can we just peace out? The answer is no, we can't just peace out. <sighs> well, that was worth a shot. Okay. Oh. The dig bots are helping immensely. Let's see, do we have to worry about cave-ins? We do occasionally. Uh, I don't think in this case, though. Don't forget to send the shuttle once inside. Oh. I'll load, send. Get out of here. Bye. Okay. 
HK-47 received the title of Yoma, Yomen, Yomen of the Exodus Empire. He's allowed to use Psychic Amplifier. And, okay, so we'll be getting an Amplifier thing at some point. All right. Well, I'm going to be boring for a little while. We are going to grab Wooden Research Table. Let's see, I think it's already on the ground outside. I have no idea where these things are. Oh, there it is. Hey, Marvin. Hey, we really need Hall urgently. Okay, uh, you know what, work? Who is Hall? So, Marvin, I guess Marvin's job is going to be hauling things prior, primarily. Because we're going to need that, eh, not necessarily more than anything, but we are going to need stuff hauled. Let's see, expand zone. Just going to expand that. Manhunter pack. It's a raccoon. Okay. How the... Deuce, they just didn't care. Marvin. God damn it. Okay, so I gotta get these guys some knives. And maybe some beds and some other things. How's his health? Raccoon absolutely slammed the dude. Wrecked his finger, wrecked his hand, wrecked his arm and his shoulder. Both of his arms. Cripes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Speaking of, we probably need to get a fueled stove. Because we don't actually don't have any food. Let's see, Marvin's working on that let's see I'm gonna put mining to a higher priority for them at least a little bit we got some other things that we need to do so what storyteller is this on Randy random I'm not actually sure if Randy random is better uh for me I just like it because it tends to keep me on my toes. And it tends to have weird long spells of just kind of not bad. And then other spells of... Okay, screw it. None of you guys want to work on this thing. Uh, let's see. Oh. That would explain why. Okay, well, there we go. See, the implant is actually just an equipable. Oh, cool. Oh. Okay, so problem is, none of my guys have brains. <laughs> so, what we need to do is, oh. What hurt you? No, you fool. Go home. Okay. So it looks like having him be a hauler is actually a really stupid idea. Why are they taking the extremely long way home? Okay, uh, restrict. Okay, I'm gonna restrict them to area one. Okay, zone. Expand allowed area. 
Area 1. Area 1 is the entire goddamn map. There's probably a better way of doing this. But if there is, I don't know what it is. But yeah, considering my guys are just going to stupidly bumble through Mega Scarab territory left and right, and stopping them is going to be inconvenient, I think my best option is, while they're still alive and we can't kill them, I'm just going to allow the entire goddamn map go from here. And then disallow the couple of danger zones that they're absolutely going to get murked in. I'm very glad that he didn't just get killed by the Mega Scarab, because that would have been bad. I would have been upset and just walks in to haul something. I, I think he might have even just been taking a, um, a shortcut back. One way or another, dumb bunnies. Oh, could have had it be easier by inverting zone. Huh. Not actually sure how to do that. Oh well. Okay. Southeast Mediterranean Amalgamation, Brandingsville. Ekno. What's our faction called? No meatbags allowed. We're gonna go with Clank Town. There we go. Okay. So next up, Android Tears. We need an Android pod. Everybody sucks at construction. Well then, I guess we're just gonna have to heal. Wait. Disallowing a zone won't stop people from pathing through it. Only keep them from interacting with things in the zone. So, what you're saying is, there's not really an easy answer. Well, okay. We have one answer. Isn't there something about these things really can't take uh, cold temperatures? Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to do... We're gonna have to do this. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, seeing as restricting and under-restricting stuff like that is kind of pointless, we're just gonna we're just gonna lock it off. Marvin, where are you going? What are you God damn it? It's like they have a death wish. Okay. Should be good. No HK. Whipwood as sidearm. I clear prioritized work. Work left two. Mm, this is really annoying. Why can't why can't I tell him to work on this wall?
He's absolutely assigned to construction. Okay, so it's entirely because Marvin had prioritized that. Oh, that's really annoying. You should be able to just like kind of countermand, countermand that and just be like, do the other thing. All right, whatever. That's dumb. Okay, so what's Johnny Five up to? Johnny Five is hauling. Okay, we should get the other thing. There's a mod that allows multiple people to work on an object. I thought I had that. Let me fix with KV Path Avoid 1.1. Okay, I'll get that mod between sessions. I'm 90% certain I already have that. Nope, I don't. Okay, well... They're locked off. Now, if I was an insane person, what I might do is freeze the lot of them. It'd be really interesting. We'll have to see how it works. Okay, so let's think. This place is worse. Uh-oh. Where are you going? Uh-oh. Okay. We're just going to mess this thing up. If we can. Uh, this is a mistake. This was a hundred percent a mistake. They're freaking faster than me. Oh, they're all coming. Okay, they lost interest. Why do they have pet llamas? Okay, uh, let's see. Well, we can do research, so we should probably do... We, we should do some research here. What is going on with the research tree? Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, that's... different. Well, this is actually a lot nicer than I remember. Okay, basic prosthetics, which I think we already have. Yes. Shield belt gunsmithing, probably. S smithing. Get us knives, fueled smithy, electric smithy. Okay. So yeah, work on that probably more than anything else. Uh, maybe some plate armor. Yeah, so I, I have to be a little worried. Because, obviously, we got some bad neighbors. I like a lot of the new music in this. Yeah, it's super good. I was really expecting it would be kind of more of the same, but no, they really upped their, upped their game here. Okay. Oh, they're hauling very small amounts. So is that going to be all of the steel on the map? I certainly hope so. I'm not going to want to go for anything else. Okay, I think that's going to be it. Yeah, so that's that's the only steel remaining. Uh, what we could do is actually dig a quick shortcut. 
Yeah, you know what? Orders mine. I'm going to queue that up. We're not going to be able to run a particularly defensive setup here. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's cancel that. They're going to finish hauling all that steel by the time they uh they actually mine that out. We have a lot of river here. So if and when we want to get the uh, the water wheels down, that would be a good idea. We'll have to figure out how to keep this place well defended. That's going to be the one issue. I'm not very good at high defenses. Either that or we actually just totally ignore water defenses and go for nuclear this time. It's not a bad idea. Okay, so who can research? Everybody can. Okay, so including Marvin. Furniture, we should at least get a stool down. Okay, anything else? There's apparently Bearcat Pelt's Grand Throne. Oh boy. Okay, add bill. Cook simple meal? Probably simple meal. Let's see, do until X. we're at least using some of this. Obviously, that's going to spoil. But I think that'll spoil slower at the very least. Uh, we have a pet bunny. Alright, sure, why not? Okay, so next up, production. We want to get... We want to get a lot of things. We want to get a butcher's table down. We're going to move all of this stuff around accordingly. It's just going to... That's going to take a little while before I've got everything that I need. I was research looking. Very far off. Okay, there we go. So hopefully we don't have to go outside too much. We have year-round growing, so we don't have to worry about winter. The androids have comfort needs. Nope. They don't give a shit. The only one that does is uh, Marvin, and that's because he's depressive. Let's see, do they need steel stools? You know, I actually don't know. I always assumed stools just gave a product productivity bonus. Uh, but there's a very real possibility that, ooh. Okay, we gotta make a storeroom stat. Cancel that. Okay, I'll just slap a wooden door in there. Space is already occupied, but. Okay. That there, transport pod crash. Heavy lifter Sam. Oh, shoot! Um. Furniture, bed. Not actually sure if you can have robots in a bed, but I can't get the uh, robopod down yet. Okay, there's Sam. Yeah, so we need a little bit more than that. Ah, shoot. We might we might not be able to get Sam from this. And none of my none of my guys have the production skill. That's actually kind of bad. Well, I I'm sorry, Sam. 
Because, yeah, what is, what is his construction level? <laughs> Two. I wonder if there's anything better. Okay, stockpile zone expand. Okay. Uh, let's delete these zones. Let's move some of the more sensitive things if we can. Well, they moved all the... They moved everything but the components. That's great. Super helpful. Uh... Okay, research is going to be a solid four from everybody. I want to get that tech done. But we've got a couple of basic needs that we desperately need a little bit more. Let's see, does steel decay? I thought it didn't. Yeah, characters have weird prior prioritization in these games. Okay, we got the butcher's table. Atcher, add butcher table, do forever. Getting a bit rotted. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So... How do we want to do this? I guess let's do structure. do that. We're going to do a door. Unfortunately, I'm going to need... I'm going to need fridges here. In retrospect, uh, nobody else should be constructing. I'm just going to have that be a HK47 thing. Okay, let's haul this stuff. Um, this is awkward. This is like the worst spot I probably could have put a could have attempted to put some kind of kitchen down into. So why don't we why don't we just undo this? This isn't worth it. At least I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna have it be like that. We're just gonna we're just gonna have this be kind of like a a big work area meeting room. And I'll figure everything else out when we get there. Uh let's see. Oh, because we don't have a replace. That's that's why. Okay, well whatever, we're gonna clear that out. We'll move the kitchen stuff in here and we'll actually try and make a fridge. Unfortunately... Oh, do we have... Okay, I can still smooth surfaces. That was that was actually a bit of a concern, so let's take a look at this. Oh! Did the, uh, no, no, no. The mega sp spider didn't die. The jelly is just there. How's this all going? Yeah, it's gonna get... That's gonna get bad, eventually. At least these guys are mining wizards. So, clear this this out. I'll have to have a better stockpile room eventually. I, I don't know. I like the interior farmland. I think what we're going to want to do is expand the actual base south. I just have to get the basics. Uh, let's see. So, speaking of basics, we should probably get a little bit of power. Do we have... We have wind turbines. We don't have batteries. That's... Battery. Really wish I could actually move these around. 
Hmm. So the question is, do we just make do with what food we have? I mean, considering these guys can just eat whatever they want, maybe it's not so bad. And I guess this is a pretty good stopping point for this episode. I haven't played RimWorld... Well, no. I've been playing RimWorld on stream a lot lately. Uh, here and there, I guess. I did a run a couple months ago that was actually very similar to this. Same characters, obviously a different map, uh, but with the royalty DLC. And I, I'm glad to be back. This is a really chill game, and I kind of enjoy just sandbox town building stuff. And boy howdy, like... The world is just, like, so much better than, uh, than most of the other ones I get to play. There's, there's a couple others that get close. But this one's just something special, and I, I'm glad to play it whenever I can. Anyway, uh, so series is probably gonna continue apace for at least, I don't know, who knows how long we'll go until... I, my biggest issue with RimWorld is always just, like, when do I stop? Because there's no... there is an end. I believe you can see the credits. I think you fly away with that ship. Uh, I have never made it there, and I'm not really sure if I really care to. Usually what I do is I just get to a nice equilibrium, and I'm like, I'm satisfied. These these people live on as this kind of weird mountain bunker people, and that, that that's just it. Uh, so I guess I ask of you, audience, uh, watching this video, where would be a... What is a good goal here? Because, like, I, I guess... I guess we should probably go with the, like, wild idea of getting one of my people to be Emperor. Maybe that'll be it. Okay. Let's, uh, uh... I don't actually remember if I talked about it in this this video, or, like, one of the future ones, but, uh... Let's make a genetic monstrosity and crown them Emperor. That, that seems like a good stopping point to me. So I guess with that, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because... I really would like to play more RimWorld when I get the chance, but it's always one of those series that, yeah, it's, it's a large time expenditure and doesn't always, uh, have, like, the viewership, uh, to keep it going, and I'd, I'd love to actually, like, know people want to see more of this, uh, and the validation is always good, too, uh, but I, I, I guess enough self-shilling, uh, I guess with this, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time, and remember, no meatbags allowed.